So we're trying to record sound directly from our laptop on Windows 7. You just need to go down to the right, click on the volume there, make sure you enable uh, devices to be shown because you want this uh, stereo mix recorder to be the default. After you do that, you can decide uh, what kind of properties you want to have and do that sort of thing. I didn't. I just left everything default. Then I went to SoundForge for the first part. Options, preferences, choose the audio tab, and then you'll want to change to the uh, Microsoft Wave Driver, and then choose the stereo mix one, click on OK, then go to your record button and start recording just to check it out. Where's the hit choose the source, the I'm choosing a YouTube video, go back to SoundForge and then you can see the levels offering, uh, so it is recording. And then uh, you can click on record. See the levels haven't changed, so it is recording, and then you click on uh, stop, and you will see in sound forward the uh, waveforms, which are very small because it was uh, faint, but they're playing for you here, and uh, I guess the other one is playing too, I didn't stop it. So the next thing we're going to do is try and do the same thing in Audacity. For those of you who like that, uh, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and then go down to Recording Devices and uh, choose the, uh, uh, what do you call it? the stereo again. Click on OK. And, and spoken, those who defy, ain't never gonna see me cry. But in reality, I'm with small fry. Go to Audacity, click on Record, and in Audacity, you can see that the waveform is building, which Soundford doesn't do. I don't know why, but it would be cool Soundford to stop it. You can also choose your uh, microphone input at that tab, which is very cool.